Time to go to the guild and grab the quests. Pat and Luke. Find the shiny rock. Find the shiny rock. Charles is the client. Pay is 30 Mira. Difficulty easy. I'd like someone to find my shiny rock. Please speak to me directly for details. I think I might have dropped it behind the Melder's old refectory. Milch main red monster. Client Bracer Guild. Pay 600, 600, 600 Mira. Difficulty low. A ferocious monster known as a pine plant has been spotted revving the Milch main road. Bracers from this branch are requested to deal with this threat immediately. Cool. Oh, good morning, Estelle and Joshua. Has your father already left? Yep, just barely. That's why we came here to find out about the jobs he left for us. Sure. There are a total of three jobs I have lined up for you. For the first one, I'd like you to head out to the farm west of here. The farm west of here? Isn't that where Tio lives? Tio? I seem to have heard that name somewhere before. Tio Purzel, she's one of our classmates at Sunday School. She's also the Purzel Farm's farm owner's daughter. Oh really? It's actually the Purzel Farm that put in a request to have someone exterminate some monsters. Are they really having problems like that? Fortunately, nobody has been hurt, but the owner and his family are upset over their fields being destroyed by the creatures. Therefore, the guild received an extermination request. I never would have expected something like that to happen. Okay, we'll head out there right now. Here, take this with you. Received guild referral. This document certifies that you were dispatched by the guild. Please give it to the owner of the farm. We already know Tio's father pretty well, so don't think this is necessary. They don't think this is necessary, <laughs> but we'll take it just in case. Okay, let's see here. Go talk to the person back here. This is really weird. Where could it have gone? Oh, excuse me, excuse me, but can I ask you something? You didn't see a shiny rock around here, did you? Huh? A shiny rock? Yeah, that's right. One that sparkles. You didn't see a rock like that lying around anywhere, did you? Are you saying you lost something? Um, I don't recall seeing anything like that. Do you know where you might have dropped it? My mom was calling for me, so I ran over to the general goods store where she was. I know I had it in my hand at the time, but when I came back here, it was gone. When you say general goods store, you mean Mr. Renan's store, right? Did you look for it at did you look in front of his store? Obviously, that's the first place I looked. Don't need to treat me like a kid, you know. My, aren't you a charmer? Why are all the little kids in this town just awful? <laughs> Well, I already asked the Bracer Guild to help find it, so I'm sure it'll show up sooner or later. If you happen to come across it, give me a holler straight away. I'll probably be around. Okay. Check in front of the store. Here's this crate right here. Huh? What's the matter? I wonder what that is. There's something shining down there through the sewer grate. You're right. It looks like something must have fallen through. The sewers? Don't tell me you forgot about the sewers already. You know, that smelly monster infested place we were in not that long ago? Oh right, those sewers! We went there during our practical training room, right? The, in the entrance to the sewers should be just behind the chapel. If you're so interested in what's down there, then how about we check it, check it out later? Sure, let's do that. Let's actually check it out right now. Enter sewers. Okay, let's try and avoid any fights. 
for the most part. Because I don't really want to get into any fights. Ooh. You're coming towards me. I want you to turn around. I can actually fight these. It's not it's not a hard fight. It's weird. And it's a preemptive attack. He's like <laughs> <sighs> super easy. Okay. Avoid that fight. Might not be able to avoid this fight, so... It's, oh, no. Okay, Soul Blur. Fuck, will bleed. I really wish I was one-shotting them. Soul Blur. Fuck, will bleed. Okay, they can't reach me. Awesome. Um, I'm gonna get hit once. Now, awesome. Attack and done. Okay, nothing here. Oh, oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, turn away from me, please. Thank you. Woo! <laughs> I'm really glad they didn't get a sneak attack on me. <laughs> that would have been awful. And luckily, these can be one shot, so this fight isn't really concerning. Since. Arts apparently Let's seem to have 100% accuracy. So oh, that's nice. Found a quartz fragment. I see now. The thing we saw shining through the sewer grate was this. Seems like it. The quartz fragment, huh? Now we know why it was shining so much. The way it sparkles is so beautiful. This made this is made of septium too, right? Loosely speaking, yes. But let's talk about it. Let's talk about it later. This isn't really the place to have a leisurely chat. I guess you're right. No normal person would want to hang out here any longer than they had to. Okay. I would like to avoid any more fights because I'm running kind of low on EP. <sighs> ah! Uh oh. Alright, that was good. Uh oh, I forgot that was still there. Um, let's use this. Let's go back up. I think this is what that boy was looking for. So, turn it in. Hey! Is that rock? Could it be that, could it be that this is the rock you've been looking for? Headed over Quartz Fragment. Yep, this is the one, my shiny rock. Why is it all dirty like this? Hey, don't you have something else to say before you complain? You guys are bracers, right? I've already paid your money to the guild. Therefore, I think I have the right to complain. That's not the problem here. <laughs> Calm down, Estelle. He's just a kid. I know that, but... This quartz is what you were looking for, right? Yeah, that's the one. This rock is really quartz? You mean the same kind of quartz that's in an old mint? Yep, it's the same kind of quartz made of sepith. It's chipped, so it, it's chipped, so it doesn't function anymore. I see. So this rock belonged to an ornament. What's wrong? You seem a bit out of it. Who? Me? Oh, it's nothing. I'm glad you found it. I guess that's about it then. Okay. Oh, that reminds me. I almost forgot. Here, take these. Received drill meatball times five. My mom gives me these. My mom gives these to me and tells me they're healthy, but they're kind of bitter, so I can't stand them. 
Anyway, I appreciate what you, what you did for me today. Seriously, what a cheeky little kid. I'm sure it's a difficult age for him, but I wonder why he's searching for that quartz. I wonder why he was searching for that quartz. What do you mean? Now that you mention it, it does seem a little strange. But oh well, everyone has something they think is important. True, true words couldn't be spoken. Perhaps this kid has an interest in ordnance. I, for one, don't see what's so, interest, what's so interesting about those overly complex gadgets. My brain goes numb just thinking about them. Except for the fact that you have to get used to them sooner or later. You won't be able to fulfill your job as a bracer if you can't use one. Alright, alright. I'll try and learn. Quest, find the shiny rock. Completed. Sweet. Alright, let's head out. Alright, now that I've finished leveling up a bit, let's go ahead and search for any loot on these maps. One thing I didn't do. Monsters appeared! Oh no. <laughs> Luckily, I've leveled up quite a bit, so hopefully this won't be too bad. What should I use? Well, let's take out this guy in the middle. Joshua, you can use Soul Blur on that one. Nice. Wish I had an AoE spell. I would make this a little bit easier, but whatever. Do have a line attack. I can attack those two. Very nice. Craft. You have hurricane. Can I hit more than one with this? Just gonna attack these. Very good. Glad you're missing. And you don't do that much damage, which is very nice actually. Flicker. Hit both of them. Okay. Craft. Hurricane. Hit four of you. Nice. Awesome. Flicker, can you hit more than one? Yes, you can. Cool. Two more down. Um, let's see here. Hurricane. May hit the book? Yes. Maybe that's the book? Not quite. Flame. Okay. Um, so blur on you. Dead. Hit so blur on you. Nice. Easy. Eight whole experience for that. Awesome. <laughs> Found Topa Topaz Talisman. Cool. Definitely not worth it. Not bother with you. I'm not here to fight. I'm here to find loot. I'm finding the edge of the map. I found that this is one of the better ways to check for loot on pretty much every map. Just run around it like that. Awesome. Still want to avoid fights because they're worth like one experience point per monster. So not really worth doing most fights. I want to get this uh, monster quest in as well. Oh crap. Uh oh. Ow. <laughs> At least I don't have to be so worried about being attacked from behind. Easy. One whole experience. Cool. <laughs> um, There might still be a chest on this map. So we're going to keep running around. Here. Okay. Oh god, not again! <laughs> oh, it didn't actually get me from behind. Cool! Yeah, my strength one went up with that. I wish it was uh, art strength, not just raw strength. Did I already get the loot? Yes, this is it. Wasn't a monster chest after all. Not wanting to go that way quite yet. I'm gonna take care of the milk main monster first. Both main rare monster, I mean. Okay, I think that was all the chests on this map, maybe? Yeah, looks like it. 
All right. Let's get to the next one. Let's see here. Are there any chests around here? Nothing there. Come back here. Luckily, the plants don't move, which is very good for me. Hmm. Ah, oh, are you the boss? A large monster is prowling around. Exterminate. Okay, hearts, fire bolts, yes. And fire bolts. Please die. Thank you. <laughs> Easy. Alright, exterminated monster and milch main food. Cool. Now we can go to the Prozel Farm and finish the main story. Then we press the next part of the main story. Okay, yeah, don't want to deal with those. And it's not like I'd get anything for killing them, probably. Then no chest back there. <laughs> okay. No, thank you. Please stop it. Stop it. Thank you. <laughs> Um, is there a test around here at all? It doesn't actually look like it does there. Huh. Okay. Let's go this way then. Oh god. Hey, it's a shining palm. That's one of the best monsters to actually fight to level up in this game. It's amazing. What I used to go from level 3 to 15. <laughs> yeah, I did a lot of leveling. <laughs> But this is nightmare difficulty. It's very difficult without the experience in leveling up. Luckily, I didn't get attacked. Awesome. Purcell Farm. <sighs> no matter when we come here, this place is always so tranquil. It's hard to imagine monsters running amok here. I certainly don't sense anything out of the ordinary either. Anyway, let's go ask someone here to fill us in on the details. I wonder if Tio is home today. I don't know. Let's find out. It's Joshua! Did you come to play with me? Look at Estelle, she's standing right in front of you! Hello? I wish I had the time, but I'm afraid today I'm here for work. Work? That's no fun if we can't play. <laughs> Maybe later if there's time. The kids are real. The kids here really like you, Joshua. Oh, Joshua, Estelle. Hi, Cher. How have you been? Do you know where your mom and dad are? They're not home right now. Tio's outside. If you want to talk to her, though. Okay. Uh, just over here. How do we get over there? Aha! We go through the barn thing. Hi, Tio! It's been a while, hasn't it? Estelle? And Joshua, too? Did you guys come for a visit? Not exactly. We're here on a bracer business. We heard that you've been having some trouble with monsters. Estelle and Joshua explained that they are here to do their father's work because he is away. You finished all your training? That's wonderful news! Maybe you can help after all. So there are so there really so there really are monsters giving you trouble, huh? Regrettably, that's been the case for the past several days now. Thanks to which I'm suffering from a lack of sleep. Aw, which means the monsters only come out at night? Yes, very perceptive, Joshua. It'd be better if you got all the details from my father, though. I imagine he should be back from delivering milk and vegetables any time now. Okay. Let's check the house then. Question mark? I guess. Maybe. Possible. Try this door. Good afternoon, Mr. and Mrs. Parcel. How is everyone getting on these days? Well, if it isn't Estelle and Joshua. What brings you to our neck of the woods? Did you come to see Tio? We were actually just chatting with her outside. To tell you the truth, we're here on an errand from the Brazier Guild. 
Estelle hands Mr. Purcell the guild referral, and Joshua explains that they are taking over for their father while he is away. Is that so? But don't you think this job is a little dangerous for just the two of you to handle? I agree. I feel, I'd feel i feel terrible if one of you were to get hurt. Don't sweat it. We're bracers after all. And taking care of monsters is right up our alley. The guild has even authorized us to carry out this task. If you wouldn't mind leaving it to us, we'd be more than grateful. Hmm. Well, alright then. Go ahead and have at it. Thank you very much, Mrs. Mr. Purcell. Then, could you tell us a little more about the monsters that have been wrecking your fields? I haven't, I haven't been able to get a clear look at one yet, but they seem to resemble something like a chubby cat. <laughs> Is it Garfield? Or maybe Felix the cat? <laughs> as far as I can tell, there... As far as I can tell, three or four appear at night in radar fields, gnawing on anything they can get their grubby little paws on. They don't seem threatening exactly, but they're extremely nimbile. We've, we've tried many times to capture them over the course of the last several nights, but to no avail. Sounds like a pretty strange bunch of creatures, if you ask me. Since they only appear under the cover of night, we'll have to wait for it to get dark. Then, how about taking a load off until then? I assume you'll be joining us for dinner, right? You said the magic word. You bet I will. I'm a huge fan of your cooking, Mrs. Burzel. I can't wait. You sure know how to please a woman who spends a lot of time toiling in the kitchen. And for that, I'll whip you up something special that'll live, that'll, that'll live up to your expectations. Whew. That was a lot of reading. <laughs> <sighs> I don't know why, when I see this, I always think of the... Never mind. <laughs> oh, that was delicious. Your mom's cooking is as good as ever, Tio. <laughs> That's because she gets excited to cook whenever we have guests over for meals. I feel really bad for Joshua, though. With the little ones jumping all over him like that. <laughs> it's probably a good thing. Surprisingly enough... Kids tend to latch onto him a lot. If anything, I'm more blown away by the fact that the children enjoy playing with such a stick in the mud. I think that's a bit of an over-exaggeration, don't you? He's definitely courteous, but maybe even a tad and maybe even a tad reserved, but if you get to know him, he's really a caring young man. The fact that he's not self-conscious about it too gives him points in my book. You really think so, huh? You really think so? I think about it. With those striking facial features, mysterious amber eyes, and lush black hair, it's only natural that he'd be a target for all the young girls. <laughs> Pikachu face. <laughs> Is Joshua really that popular? Are you blind, Estelle? The rumor has it that more than just a few girls have asked, have asked to go out with him. I hear that he turned them all down, though. I, I, I had no idea. Joshua never said a word to me about it. I don't know how I should even begin to describe his secretive nature after hearing this, but how utterly cruel of him not to confide in me. If you were a boy, I imagine it would be a different story, but as a girl, I don't think that's something he would talk to you about. And the fact that you haven't fallen for him yourself is beyond me. Huh? Why would I? <laughs> Estelle, you're in there, right? You Estelle, you're in there, aren't you? It's about time to do our rounds. Uh, all right, come I'm coming! We'll be back after Joshua and I get the job done, Tio. I'd like to continue the co this conversation then, okay? Oh, all right. Be careful out there, Estelle. That girl, she's either completely out of touch with matters of the heart or just plain dense. 
Poor Joshua, he really has his work cut out for him. It seems as though the monsters always show up at about this time. We'd better get outside and take a look around. <sighs> but what's going on, Estelle? I've got to ask, Joshua. You don't happen to have any secrets you're not telling me about, do you? Come on now. Where are you coming up with this stuff? Since you came to live with us, we've always done everything together, right? Even though we've had our fair share of fights, they're all good memories for me now, and... What I mean to say is, I've come to think of you as family in every sense of the word. Estelle... So, if there's ever anything on your mind you'd like to talk about, I'm available to lend an ear. You know about things like trouble with your love life and whatnot? <laughs> what are you trying to say? N -n Nothing. I just wanted to let you know I'm here to listen if you need someone to talk to. That's all. Let's hurry up and get out there so we can kick some monster butt. <laughs> What kind of nonsense is Tio putting into that that girl's head? Secrets, huh? Wow, it's really dark out here in the countryside. So Joshua, how do you think we should go about making the rounds? Let's see. How about we start by checking around the house first and then moving on to the fields, stable, and greenhouse. We should be able to cover the entire farm by doing it this way. All right, let's go. Sweet. Let's check over here first. Nada. No monsters here. All right, let's keep moving. Okay. Um, I don't see anything here. The button here. I should have figured monsters wouldn't bother coming in here. The glow of the ornaments sure gives the, this place a romantic ambiance. It makes me feel like it was all worthwhile just setting foot in here. You are definitely a ditz, Estelle. What? <laughs> Come on, dude! You've actually been so good until now. <laughs> At least it's better than being dense like someone I know. I mean, you're kind of dense as well. <laughs> Look! Wow! <laughs> It's getting away! Hey, get back here, you little furball! I can still sense its presence. It's staying put on the farm for the moment. Well, good. Because it's about to get caught! Yeah, you tell this though. Let's try sneak up kind of, maybe? Can we sneak up? Yes, we can. Awesome. I got him! I think it's time to teach this critter a lesson. Here's where our job really starts, so stay alert and don't let your guard down. Okay. I went to sleep. Oh, that's so cute! Okay, Shadow Spear on that one first. Let's focus fire on this baby. Cause that looks like the most dangerous one. You're dead. Got an ult on that. I'm gonna use Joshua ult. On that one. Bye. Right, go. Easy. Where? <laughs> you. <laughs> My goodness. The work of the the work of a racer is something else. You kids have done a fine job of rounding up these critters. Hehe. <laughs> it, it was really... It, it was nothing, really. <laughs> but me trying to read this dialogue is very difficult, apparently. <laughs> I wanted to ask you, though. Now that you've... Now that they've been caught, what do you plan... What do you plan on doing with them? 
Do we really have to execute them? Do we really have to ex execute them? Of course we do, Estelle. That's the whole reason we came up here in the first place. But, but, but the mission of Embracer is to protect civilians and uphold justice. Join Mercy to a bunch of monsters is just absurd and completely illogical. I see what you're getting at, but... You know, it was only some vegetables that were damaged, so... What do you think about letting it slide this time? You know, after taking a beating like that, I'm sure they've learned their lesson. Tio, Mrs. Perzel... But in, but in this case, I strongly suggest otherwise. I myself am against killing them too. Whether it's us or them, the fact of the matter is, we're all living beings trying to survive on the same land. To some degree, I think we need to be mindful of those creatures living around us as we go about our daily lives. I know you may disagree with me, Joshua, but would you mind sparing these critters just this once? Understood. Since this is coming from the one who suffered the actual loss, I won't object to your request. I'm really sorry about this, Joshua. I know I had you two come all the way up here. I'll make sure to reinforce the fence and devise a way to prevent this from happening again. Then that's that. All right, you critters, you'd better count your blessings. If, you, if we catch you around here again, you won't be so lucky. Now scram! <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll consider this matter closed. Tonight's been a long night, so how about we head back to the house and hit the sack? The two of you are more than welcome to spend the night. Sounds good to me. I appreciate, I appreciate your hospitality. Man, I'm beat. It's really late, so how about we hit the sack? Joshua? What's wrong? I'm sorry. Made the situation really awkward for everyone. Huh? Are you talking about what happened back outside? Don't sweat it. I guarantee you nobody thought anything of it. Really, your judgment was the most sound of anyone's. No, it wasn't. I'm just cold-hearted and indifferent is all. Even now, I still think we shouldn't have shown any mercy and simply, simply put those creatures out of their misery. Unlike you and Tio, I don't feel any compassion. It's at times like this that I really begin to loathe myself. It's almost as if there's something wrong with me as a person. <laughs> Maybe some part of my heart is broken or something. Joshua! Don't you dare say any- Don't you dare say things like that about yourself! I Estelle? I've watched almost everything you've done for the past five years. And I'm confident in saying that I know your strength and, strength and weaknesses better than anyone else. Probably even more than you, yourself. I won't allow you to disregard everything with a bunch of nonsense! I don't ever want to hear you say you're broken again. I'm sorry. It was foolish of me to say that. As long as you understand what I said, that's what really matters. But, you know what? Believe it or not, I was happy to hear you admit how you felt. Why? Your real problem, Joshua, is that you always try to keep your feelings locked up inside. Whenever you're, in tr whenever you're troubled or worried, you just go around with this nonchalant look and try to fix everything by yourself. That's a little upsetting for someone who's supposed to be your family. Aww. Still, I... Joshua, you were able to lay bare your own weakness today. You learned to trust in someone other than yourself. And for that, I'm happy. I, I don't know what your point is, but I'm amazed that you can just stand there and say something as embarrassing as that. Wow! Dick move, dude. Ha! 
I've got a whole lot more where that came from. <laughs> but how about we call it a night? After all, this endless running around, I'm ready to drop. All right then, have a good night, Estelle. And thanks. You're welcome, Joshua. Sleep tight. Aww. I, I, <laughs> the more I play this, the less I understand why everyone is so mean to Estelle. She's so sweet. Thank you both. You did us all a great service. Once again, I apologize for things not turning out the way they should have. Please don't worry about it anymore. We were able to learn a lot from this from this experience ourselves. If there's anything else we can help you with in the future, please let the Bracer Guild know. That'll definitely be the first place we contact. Come and visit us again sometime when you're free, okay? We'd love to have you over for the night again when things are convenient for you. I'll treat you to some of my best cooking when you come. Thanks for the invitation, Tio and Mrs. Burzel. We'll definitely be back to take you up on that when our workload settles down. All right, how about we head back to the guild? After we, after we report this one, we can start on the next. Sounds like a plan. On to the next one. <laughs>